Hi YouTube, this is Hasnan from Trending Codes and in this tutorial we're gonna look about how to implement Facebook authentication with the help of Firebase. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because uh, one of my subscribers just requested me to do a video on Facebook authentication and on that request I'm doing this. So uh, uh, to integrate the Facebook authentication into your Ionic 3 app, uh, what we're gonna do what we are going to do is we need to go to developers.facebook.com slash apps when you visit this website you gonna go ahead and click on the create a new app once you create a new app uh, you, they're gonna ask for the display name and I'm going to say that FB auth uh, and I'm going to create a ID uh, I should change the name is it should be uh, uh, has art okay they're gonna ask for some captcha and I think it's G C X S F E H okay I will submit this and I'm going to get the uh, app ID and the okay now in this tutorial we are going to work with the Android so I should go ahead and add the platform in the Facebook so to add a platform you should click on the add platform click on Android because you're going to work with the Android you should give the uh, package name over here now you know you can get the package name from your uh, config.xml file open your config.xml file from your project and just copy and paste it right away over there uh, I'm going to just paste it over here and I'm going to just save it the changes have been saved and uh, this is our app ID and this is the app secret over here now I'm going to go inside the face uh, firebase uh, I will go inside the auth authentication inside the authentication I will go inside the sign in method inside the sign in method um, I will just uh, open the Facebook and I will just replace this ID and uh, app secret or else you can do one thing uh, you can go ahead and create a new project uh, once you will create a new project they will ask the uh, just going to create a new project they will ask for the project name I just give the project name and it will create a new project for you people okay the project has been created now what we will do is we will go inside the authentication inside the authentication uh, we will go inside the sign in method and we will enable the Facebook here I will just enable it and I will just paste the app ID right over here and the app secret right over here and I will just save it this was all about the setup that should be done before we start coding uh, from the uh, Facebook and the Firebase so uh, what I will do I will install the native wrapper and the uh, code of plugin for the Firebase and to uh, install the Cordova plugin uh, you should be inside your project directory and inside the console uh, we're going to fire this command right over here uh, you can find this command inside the uh, description uh, just replace your app name and the app ID uh, my app ID over here is this one and I'm going to replace it right over here once I will replace it and I will just give the name has auth this will install the uh, Cordova plugin for Facebook uh, and a Cordova plugin is not installed I'm going to say yes and it will install the Cordova plugins uh, okay now if you are using um, uh, if you have not updated the uh, CLI of Ionic uh, then there you should not include the Cordova inside your uh, this command 
but if you have updated or upgraded your ionic then you should write ionic code or plugin uh, so these are the small changes which have been made inside the uh, ionic cli upgrade okay the cordova plugin has been installed now we will install the native wrapper and to install the native wrapper uh, the command is sudo uh, npm install uh, save ionic native facebook and this will ask for the password i'm going to give the password and this will install the uh, i'm sorry what happened uh, okay okay uh, i have given the password right over here and uh, this will install the Cordova wrapper in the uh, I mean Facebook Cordova Ionic native wrapper in my project okay the native wrapper has been installed now what we will do uh, we're going to install the Firebase right over here and to install the Firebase the command is um, npm install uh, Firebase sale now this will install the Firebase inside my project and we can just uh, work with the firebase after installing this because we are going to save the user who used to get login with the help of Facebook that particular user will be saved inside the firebase so we need to install the firebase for that reason and we need to configure the firebase inside the app.module.ts and until it get installed what we're going to do we are going to set up the uh, app.module.ts inside the app.module.ts what we're going to do is uh, we will just import the uh, Facebook from the ionic native wrapper that is Facebook from uh, ionic native wrapper ionic native uh, slash Facebook okay once it is done uh, we are going to use the same Facebook inside the provider uh, so we should write as Facebook okay once we are done with that uh, the Firebase is still getting installed so uh, we will just import the Firebase over here from sorry from in single code it should be firebase now right now uh, I think it will uh, give the error because it's not installed you can see over here it's still getting installed now in the same way uh, just copy both the imports and paste it into your um, I guess uh, home.html file home.ts file I'm sorry uh, just paste it and now uh, once we are done with this what we're going to do we are going to configure our firebase so we will just uh, create one constant variable export const uh, firebase config now this will hold our uh, APIs from the Firebase. Now you can get all the APIs from the Firebase. Uh, go inside the web setup, and inside the web setup you can find the uh, API key, auth dom domain, and everything. And just copy and paste inside the Firebase uh, config variable, which is constant over here. Once you are done with this, uh, we will just initialize the Firebase by just typing uh, Firebase. I'm sorry, it should be Firebase. Um, Firebase dot. Let it get installed because we are not going to get the uh, intelligence until it gets installed okay so we are going to initialize the firebase so uh, firebase firebase dot initialize app uh, 
inside the initialize app we are going to initialize the firebase config mm, okay uh, we are done with this now we will open the uh, home.html file we are going to create one button which with the help of that button we are going to get login so um, I'm going to create the uh, ion to icon button and it should be on the left side so I'm going to use the uh, Facebook logo logo Facebook and the text on the button should be uh, login with Facebook okay this is done uh, we are going to create the uh, block and we are going to create the click event and the click event name will be fb login fb login okay now uh, we will create this function inside the home.ts file and inside the home.ts file first of all we should inject our facebook inside the constructor and it should be public facebook of type facebook okay now i'm just going to uh, fb login I'm just, I'm just going to create that event that is fb login and inside the fb login i'm going to use this dot um, facebook dot login and we're going to with the help of email we are going to get login so email dot then and inside the then we are going to create one handler which will provide the result and obviously we are going to get some error so we should catch so inside the catch we are going to create one handler called err and uh, this will provide you the error what exactly now what we will do um, uh, we will just use the uh, access token or we will just take the access token from the firebase i'm sorry from the facebook and we will try to get login inside the firebase we have created this uh, res handler now inside that we are going to create one variable called constant and uh, this const variable will just hold the facebook credentials so we will just uh, give the variable name as fc equals to um, firebase dot auth dot facebook credentials i'm sorry facebook auth provider inside the facebook auth provider uh, uh, from facebook auth provider we are going to get the credentials and the we are going to get the credentials uh, the credentials will be hold by the handler that is res dot um, res dot auth response and inside the auth response we are going to get the access token so it should be like this now we got the facebook credentials into the variable called fc and what we will do now uh, with the help of firebase we will try to log in with the facebook credentials so firebase dot um, auth dot sign in with credentials we got a credentials inside the fc variable so i will just try to sign in with credentials and the credentials are fc the credentials are stored in the variable called fc okay now once uh, we are done with this we will uh, we will just check that uh, it's working or not so we will just create one more handler called fs it will just uh, tell you that if it is a firebase success or not so we will just alert it alert um, and the alert will be firebase sec and if you are going to get the error we are going to catch it with the help of catch and 
we are going to create the uh, handler called FERR it just says the firebase error and we are going to alert it as firebase error right over here mm, okay now if we are if we're going to get the error right when we just try to take the access from the Facebook then we should alert it to with the help of alert uh, it, it will be in the object form so we should write json dot stringify and inside the stringify we are going to we have created the handler called err okay so now let's go ahead and check it's working or not so I'll just fire the command ionic code over on Android Um, okay, so as you can see over here, uh, there are no user available inside the authentication tab. Uh, once I will get login with the help of Facebook, uh, the user will be get stored right over here. So let's try uh, to login. So I'll just click on the login with Facebook button. And it will load. okay so uh, as you can see over here it's just asking me for the email address and the phone number so I will just use my phone number to get login and I will just use my password for the Facebook account to get login okay I will just go ahead and login inside the Facebook okay uh, as you can see over here uh, you're getting a message that continue as Hasnan and once I will click on the uh, once I click on the continue uh, it will just saved my uh, Facebook email ID inside the firebase and we will get a message that the Facebook I mean uh, firebase success according to our code right over here what we have written is once we are uh, once we are ready or once we are successful by logging on the Firebase with the help of Facebook credentials, we are storing the Facebook credentials into the FC variables, and we just says that Firebase dot auth sign in with credentials FC, then it will just give a message that Firebase SEC. yes we got the message that Facebook success so I will just hit enter over uh, ok over here and let's check over here that our user my email has been saved or not okay as you can see my email has been saved uh, I recently logged in on the uh, with the help of Facebook so this is how we can integrate our Facebook authentication into your Ionic 2 or Ionic 3 so uh, Thanks for watching my video and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it and uh, take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Keep coding.